Seriously. So it happened again. I just got rear-ended again yesterday. Now you guys may remember that uh, I posted a video about it. Uh, before the holidays, I got rear-ended just sitting in traffic. And in that situation, there were three cars total. Uh, the car, two cars behind me, uh, hit the car that was behind me, who then bounced forward and hit me. Uh, well, yesterday, literally almost the exact same thing happened yet again. I was pulling up to a red light, and then uh, the car behind me was slowing down and stopped behind me. And then a little while later, the car behind them was trying to come to a stop, wasn't able to, skidded and slid, hit the car behind me, who then bounced forward and hit me. Yeah. And we just got hit. You gotta be kidding me. Now, I just picked up my car maybe a week and a half ago from the body shop, and I haven't even been driving it that long, and now I've, well, been on the phone with insurance all day today and yesterday, and getting everything figured out. I've got the dash cam footage this time. Luckily, I've been kind of paranoid <laughs> about having the rear dash cam uh, actually functioning and working and keeping the uh, rear window clear in case of rain and snow and all that kind of stuff. And well, it came in handy and I'm really glad I had the rear dash cam this time. With the footage, it should make everything super clear cut and dry. I called the police actually after the uh, the accident had happened and they said that just due to the snow, um, they weren't actually even gonna come unless there were some major injuries or the cars weren't drivable. Uh, luckily, that doesn't seem to be the case. Um, I do have some neck and back pain now, it sucks. And my wife who was in the car actually has more neck and back pain than I did and she had trouble sleeping and stuff. Uh, my daughter was actually in the, uh, the back seat. Um, she seems okay as far as we can tell, but it's just really been bothering me all night and all day today. Just the fact that they were in the car. Last time it was just me, but the fact that they were in the car and now she's got stuff she's dealing with, like, I don't know, that's probably one of the worst things, you know, like cars, okay, it sucks when they get hit. It get, sucks when they get hit repeatedly. <laughs> But yeah, they can get repaired and looking at the damage, it doesn't look like there's too much damage. Uh, last time uh, they had to replace the bumper and they had to repair some of the stuff internally. There was no frame damage or anything, uh, but it wound up being about $4,000 worth of repairs. Um, we'll have to see what it's like this time. Hopefully not too bad. It doesn't look like it externally, but we'll have to see, you know, once we take a look at everything. Um, and I got to go through everything as far as diminished value and doctor stuff and just all that headache, you know? Talking to the girl who, uh, the one two cars back, uh, she was trying to come to a stop and just wasn't able to. She said she was slamming on the brakes and the car just slid. And I totally believe her. I mean, as my wife and I were heading out yesterday, um, I just wanted to test with all the snow that was coming down to see, you know, if I slam on the brakes in case of an accident, how quickly am I able to stop? So I actually just tried it slamming on the brakes and sure enough, the car would just skid to a stop. And this was from less than 20 miles an hour, you know? And so, yeah, it had a couple situations like you're trying to stop and you're not really able to. And I guess that's one of the things about all wheel drive. It's great in the snow, of course, but even all wheel drive doesn't help you stop when you slam on the brakes. Your tires are just gonna skid and you know, you got ABS maybe, but there's only so much, you know, all wheel drive can do, which the girl that hit me was driving a Subaru, you know, Subaru Outback. And I guess the snow, it's been kind of crazy. Like driving around the past couple days, we've seen a truck that was actually down in the ditch off the side of the road. Uh, I saw a car that was uh, spun out at an intersection and it had a pop tire on one of the sides. I saw a number of cars uh, actually sliding, trying to come to a stop. Uh, there were several of those. I saw a car that was stuck trying to go uphill and wasn't able to make it uphill. Even right before the accident that I got into, there was a car that was making a right-hand turn and actually kind of slid a little bit. And so all the stuff that was going on, you know, as I was coming to a stop, I was coming to a stop super slowly just to make sure I didn't slide and leaving plenty of room in front of me just in case I slid, or I guess it was nice in this situation where if I got rear-ended, you know, pff, I wouldn't slide and hit the person who was in front of me. And I wish the person behind me kept a little bit more distance. So when they slid, maybe they wouldn't have hit me, but that's life. I've been running through this situation over and over and over in my head thinking, is there anything that I could have done better? I mean, even maybe been driving at a different time or if I had not been on the road. But then again, last time I had the accident, it was the same exact thing and there was no snow. So I mean, it's just only so much you can do with trying to be prepared. Like I've got chains that I bought for extra traction in case anything happened. Cause we were actually planning on going into the mountains this weekend uh, to take Luna into the snow. But I mean, we've got our fair share of snow and I'm a little less enthused to go driving through the snow right now. <laughs> but 
I don't know. I mean, I guess stuff happens. Bad luck or something. I don't know. I mean, stuff happens and it sucks. Uh, I'm glad everybody's mostly okay. We'll have to see as far as like neck pain and back pain. It sucks to now have to go through all that, but I'm glad everybody's mostly okay. I hope my daughter's okay as well. We'll go see. She is six months old, so she can't really say if anything's going on. Um, she seems okay as far as we can tell. And I've been kind of just upset about the whole thing, I guess, but playing with her recently, uh, this morning before shooting this video actually helped me feel better. So that was nice, but it sucks to have that happen again. I mean, I've invested a lot into this car as far as like radar detectors and dash cams and laser jammers, and I'm trying to keep it in good condition so I can use it for testing. Like, so people please quit hitting my car. <laughs> I kind of need it to work properly, to work well, to be usable and everything, you know? And I love this car. It feels wonderful to drive. It's probably my favorite car I've ever owned. Like I really enjoy it. So I just want it to stay in good shape. I want everybody to be healthy and yeah. So I don't know. I guess that's that. Just wanted to do a quick video. Um, the next video that I've been wanting to do and I was intending on shooting today is uh, new and updated radar detectors. There's uh, quite a bit to talk about even since shooting the video last month. Um, I just want to get this video up uploaded and online and I'll work on that video later. But uh, anyway, just wanted to uh, do another quick video talking about the latest accident, I guess, which sucks. But I guess it is what it is, so... Hope you guys are doing well. Stay safe out there. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.